In this video, I want to take a look at LSU Auburn, the rematch. I will talk briefly on this, but I am more going to focus on the post game as I think Angel Reese might be leaving and Kim Mulkey is dropping us hints that this is what is going to happen when the season ends. Before we start, if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and give the video a like. So in the Auburn LSU rematch, LSU got a scrappy five point win 71 to 66 at this stage i describe or i think of lsu as a bit of a enigma as you just don't know what they are going to give you each night i thought after the second half of the alabama game they sort of figured out their defensive issues then they had a bye week and sort of more chance to practice on their defense with Kim Mulkey saying a lot of the practices didn't even have a basketball. You know, they did their shooting, but they were just that focused and locked in. And she felt after having the week off with buys that they had really started to figure it out. And she was very optimistic in the pregame prior to the Auburn game. And then the game happens. And once again, they just come out sluggish. Like they don't know what they're doing on pick and roll again are, are is angel reese pressing up and challenging shots or are they going under the pick you could see a few times where bob's well one time where bob starkey's just like oh, what are we doing i think she, i think he's going yelling at falage and then there's another one where kim mulkey just rises up on the sidelines just like this defense is not good enough and total transparency i have not seen the full game i've only seen the highlights did not have access to the game i watched the highlights hvl had a horrific turnover one passing to the wing, which was just ridiculous. Straight away, Mulkey goes to the bench and calls Poa in. They both had three turnovers each, but the turnover issue just wasn't related to them. In total, LSU had 21 turnovers. It was a physical game, and, and that happens. But again, it's just those ongoing issues, and you don't know what LSU team is going to show up. I think that would be the real concern for LSU fans. But again, that's the confusing thing. I could do this video right here and say, oh, these are the concerns. Played a tight game against a lesser talented team tonight. Bash LSU. And then they're just as likely to face off at Tennessee and give Tennessee a beat down and be focused in from the time the game starts. Play awesome. That's the thing that must drive LSU fans crazy as you do not know what team is going to show up on a given night. Now, as I said, I am going to focus on the press conference. It was after the game, Kim Mulkey's press conference. As I think Kim Mulkey indicated twice that the end of Angel Reese's career or her LSU career is wrapping up. So she just does it subtly, and I will show you the entirety of the clips, and you can say, hey, the back-to-sport guy is just trying to to stir the, you know, stir up controversy and it's totally nothing a, a teacup or a storm in a teacup. But here's the first one. She's like, it's understandable that she's trying so hard and practice as her LSU career is winding down. Take a listen. Coach, what did you see from Angel tonight overall? Well, I've seen it the last couple of days. Angel hadn't forgotten that Auburn loss. And I think in practice, she's really stepped up. And I saw it again tonight. She's like, I need the ball. I need the ball. And I'm like, they can't get it to you. We're trying. Um, so just a, a, a competitor that didn't want to lose again to the same team uh, that understands her career is winding down at LSU. And um, she, really, um, she really took it up a notch. Now, and again, when you listen to that, I'm sure I'll get comments to say, you've taken that out of context. She's just saying that it might be winding down and you don't know. And how dare you speculate like that? But then she says it again in this next one where she's in the last month of her career as it comes to a close at LSU. Take a listen to this one as well. Uh, Angel's leadership can best be... Um, um maybe described as the word by how hard you play in practice. How hard do you play in practice uh, as this last month kind of comes to a close for her career at LSU, just play hard. And if she does that, then the rest of them will play hard and they'll play with a lot of confidence when she's playing hard. Now, again, I know I will get comments saying you've taken that out of context. It could be the end of her career and it's nothing and you're just trying to get views 
fine. Say that. My take is, again, Kim Mulkey, she'll do the all shucks routine. I don't mean to say that, and you're going to get me in trouble. And how, you know, don't you guys get me in trouble, and I don't know what I say, and I don't watch social media or go on social media. I don't know anything about that. And I'm like, no, nah. Kim Mulkey is smart and clever, and she knows what she means to say, and, and she knows when she's stirring things up a bit. Don't think anything that she says is by happenstance or mistake, and I don't think this was either. Now, this next part is pure speculation on my part, but here is what I'm thinking is going on. Essentially, they had the team issue early on prior to the Grand Cayman trip where she went on leave. I think they came together and said, hey, let's make the best of it and just do the best we can. But they both had a knowing agreement that this was going to be it for her at LSU. At the time that it went down, I said, when it was all happening, I was like, Angel Reese has a decision. She can kiss the ring of Kim Mulkey and sort of come back and say all the right things and get going and play out the season or take her on and go on leave and then just enter straight to the NBA draft. I think she made a wise decision just saying, hey, it was personal issues. I got away. Now I'm back and totally focused and here we go. And I think that sets her up well for the WNBA draft. I think she's currently rated number five. Kim Mulkey has been supportive of her and saying the right things in terms of she's a leader and she's practicing hard. Basically, Angel Reese has kept up her side of the bargain and they are having a nice united front in front of the media. But I do think that they both know that after the season ends, that this is over and she needs to move on to the WNBA and not come back for another year at LSU. And because it's done and Mulkey knows it's done, I don't think she minds giving away hints that that's the case. And the reason is, is I'm sure you're aware if you're watching this video, the number one recruit for the 2024-25 class, Sarah Strong, is still out there and still hasn't signed speculation is is that she will announce at the mcdonald's all-american game and, and announce where she's going and i think lsu is keen to get back into that game i think the way to do it is to say that angel is gone and there's a nice little slot for here for you to slide into here all the team drama that happened will dissipate once angel leaves and here we go. Let's try to get Sarah Strong, see if we can get back into that game and get her into the fold. And then the pitch to Sarah Strong is, come to LSU, play with your buddy Michaela Williams that you played three-on-three -three with in the USA three-on-three -three championship team as well. We have talent here still. So we still have HVL, Falaje Johnson, Samaya Smith will be coming back, Del Rosario, and Anissa Morrow. So come join us and we will still be a super team if you like and you will be an NIL star. Now I have no doubt commenters will rubbish this opinion, which is fine, but now I am on the record and God help me because YouTube is forever, but I do think it's pretty clear that Angel Reese is going to the WNBA. Moving forward, I'm curious what LSU team will finish out the season. Are they going to lock in and finish out the season and then go on a run in a tournament? Or could this team lay an egg when they go to Tennessee, drop out of the top 16, and be that vulnerable team? You just don't know if they're going to show up or not and be kicked out of the tournament early, and then Angel Reese announces. I'm not sure to be determined. Anyway, your thoughts, comments, your poison is always welcome. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great night.